Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a quick guide on how to play the demon on Evil Dead the game. I've got 27 tips here for you and I can guarantee you that if you start doing some of these you will start winning more matches, especially if you're a new demon. A lot of people talk about how the right builds will win you the game, however I really think that choice matters and decision making is crucial. So hopefully these tips will help you make better decisions. So first the goal of the demon is to drain the survivors of the resources so we want to focus on the long game always. However, if the game ends earlier, then it's a win. Then you want to try and find the survivors fast. The best way to do is look on the map, see where you are, see what the two objectives are, and then know that the survivors cannot be near you, neither both objectives. Try and use the information to locate them. On your way to the survivors, trap everything on your way, especially chests. Chests give you the most XP, so I highly recommend you make the stop and get that extra XP. Once you found the survivors, keep trapping everything around them and possess units on the ground to save your inferno energy. I wouldn't spawn units unless absolutely necessary. Save a demonic dash for special occasions. You don't want not to have it when you need it. So good situations to use the demonic dash is when they're picking up a survivor that is bleeding out, when they're raising a survivor. If you really need the energy, then perhaps do it when they're looting a chest or when they're engaging with your units so that their movement will be more predictable. Cancel it if you know you're gonna miss it. Go for the isolated survivor, but perhaps if they're a hunter, avoid. If they're support, definitely go for them, because a team without a support is a team more likely to lose. If they start looping you using the environment, then they might try to waste your time. In that case, you should either go for the group and try to level up, or you can keep trapping around the looper and hope they make a mistake. However, I will probably go for the group. It's only worth putting some points on demon vision if you're on the big map, otherwise ignore it. Since the latest patch, cars are buffed and they are demon sided. You can use them to run over survivors, however whenever you hit them you will lose some inferno energy. You want to aim for threat level 10 by the time the map pieces are collected, as that's when you can summon the boss. And also aim for level 20 by the time the dark ones get started. Possess the survivors whenever you can. That will give you 300 XP which will help you level up. When you possess a survivor, try to hit the other survivors. Shooting is better because you use the consumables. Remember we're trying to drain the resources. If you possess a support, it might be better to unpossess them straight away because they don't do much damage without a melee or ranged. If you possess a survivor and you get knocked out of possession by another survivor, your energy levels will drop to zero. So bear that in mind. And another tactic you can use with possessing survivors is to unpossess them by a trap. That will obviously activate the trap, it will give you some XP and you're gonna have a unit on the ground. If you have Inferno Energy saved, you'll be able to possess your unit and start wreaking some havoc. Play survivors, it will help you understand the game better. When using basics, dodge in between attacks. Be aware with some survivors that will bait you with cars. It might be best to go for the groups or to keep trapping to level up. Level up your traps initially, they will help you increase the fear in the survivors whenever they get triggered and high fear levels means easier possessions. Traps level 3 drop elites and elites are much better since the latest patch. When doing point, set as many traps inside the point as possible. Keep them active again and again as soon as you can. That way you're always going to have units on the floor whilst you're possessing another one. It will also help you increase the fear levels on the survivors which can eventually lead to a possession. When you get exercise from a point, make sure you mark that on the map before you are expelled somewhere else. When on the book phase, make sure you go for the book, especially if survivors are still high in resources. And finally, any 3 points on extra damage on your units will not deal any extra damage on the book. I hope you guys found these tips useful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.